Our goal for VCT is definitely qualifying for champions. I think we all know it's a reachable goal now. Pretty much going into VCT, we're kind of just like looking to prove ourselves against an actual like tier one opponent. Even if we sent it, we'll beat them. If we need to, we, we need to be envy, we'll beat them, man. Like 100%, I think we can shock the world in that regard for sure. And is that it? Our crew trying to make it 31 in a row, and they will do just that with the finish. Calm, Gucci 07, Campeki, Pancakes, Neon, and Coach Juvenile. They make up Team Accrue. This up-and-coming Valorant team that had raging success these past couple of months are approaching the beginning of the second year of the Valorant Champions Tour Qualifier. They accomplished a 34 win streak, being stopped by none other than Cloud9 Blue, a tier one team that competed in Valorant Champions 2021. But before Accrue became the team we know today, it started back on a team called Easy Five. All right, so Easy Five, I think it was originally like a random CS Source team. At the time, there was a coach, Stan, uh, Nats. Stan brought it over to Valorant when it first came out. And he was like looking to like rebuild the whole team, I guess, from scratch. And at the time, I think all they had was really Gucci, because Gucci's been a very, very original PZ5. People ended up getting offers, and the team disbanded. And then um, Stan didn't know what to do, so he put together a new team. From there, they were just looking for free agents. He found me in a rank game, like a completely random rank game. I wasn't even playing too good, so I have no idea why he decided to message me. At the time, I was a free agent, and so they picked up, I think, me at the time. When he messaged me, I just like couldn't believe it, because it was like a CS guy that was like friends with like some of my idols, like Sui 2K and like Mo. And he was just like, yo, like you want to come play? And I was like, we started off with the Corsonics and some other people too. He was like, all right, we got scrims on this day. I was like, okay. And we get into the scrim, and like, we scrimmed against like Anbox, I think. And that was like, my first ever like pro scrim, and I was like, holy shit, like, oh, can I swear? Decop at the time was like one of the core. Oh my God, I'm playing against like pros, like playing against actual pros. I didn't even play that like bad. I, like, I think I played pretty well. I was on Duelist, played Raze on Bind, and I still remember it, like I played pretty well. As time moved on, we had shifted into picking up uh, Calm, and then afterwards we were really successful, and then Decop took opportunity for TSM Academy. So he had left the roster as a result, so we, had, we were left with us four. Someone messaged me and was like, yo, you wanna try out? And I was like, I'm not on a team. I need to get my name out there again. It's been so long since complexity and me competing. So I joined a crew. I, before a crew, I was actually a Sova role. And I actually just changed every, like, or I changed from a support role to more of a lurky sentinel role. I just adapted to that play style. I think I really gelled well with everybody. Even back when we were easy five, we had a lot of successes in tournaments. It took a little bit when we joined a crew because we had to bring back Pancakes and also add a Neon, which I think is an amazing player. And so I picked up uh, jet, Neon because he was a spectacular jet, still is a spectacular jet as a result. And then uh, we also needed a uh, one more player and then Pancakes just ended up coming back to us. So, and that that's a crew, that's the crew we know today. Wait, that's f***ing lit! Entering these uh, NSG weekly tournaments uh, honestly helps a lot to prepare for VCT because you just kind of get a lot of experience uh, actually playing and practicing together uh, as a team. Over these past four weeks, if you look at our win from the first week to our win, like the last most recent one, it's so much cleaner, it's so much better. We've improved in so many different ways. Where I think they have a chance to upset in uh, the VCT qualifiers if given the chance. Our goal for VCT is definitely qualifying for champions. I think we all know it's a reachable goal now. Pretty much going into VCT, we're kind of just like looking to prove ourselves against an actual like tier one opponent. A lot of the tier one teams that people consider like the big names we've been doing pretty well against. I would say the one team we actually struggle against was probably Envy right now where they're pretty well structured and everything, so props to them. I mean, just yesterday I was scrimming against Envy and they're really, really strong. They're really structured, play really, really well for all, all mechanically, all, all really individually uh, gifted players, and um, it's really hard to play against for sure. But I think we feel super confident. We feel like we're gonna qualify to top 12. I wanna be a VCT champion winner, man. I, I'm very confident in myself. You know, also not being one of my best friends really has um, really motivated me especially. And you know, seeing, I just remember seeing, you know, Tenzin also being my best friends. I just remember seeing them both at uh, Berlin kind of a thing, you know, literally at Berlin. And here I am, and, and these two guys are my best friends, you know. I was like, kind of a little bit sad, but also really happy for them, obviously. But I'm just like, you know, I, I play alongside these two guys, like at the same level at one point, you know? I'm like, I really wish I could be there with them, you know? They're my, literally my best friends. I, I just really wanted to see myself like be up there with them for sure. And I, I, I've had confidence in myself as an individual player that I could be up there for sure. I think I got the hours in and everything. So then I'm gonna pop off and I know it, man. I'm just, that's the goal, man. We put in the work, we put in everything. It's just about showing up on game day and uh, showing everything we've, we've worked on.
Where do I see a crew going? Uh, honestly, I think only time will tell. Other than like the obvious, I mean, we're obviously gonna just like pop off, do do what we do, do what a crew does. I do have a lot of confidence. I do think we will uh, be able to fare pretty well against tier one teams, but like maybe we end up playing like Sentinels first round in one of the open qualifiers and that's the end of our journey. Like who knows? Um, do I think we can beat Sentinels? Honestly, I think there's I think there's a chance. I'm not gonna like be like, oh yeah, we can roll Sentinels easily since we are just like a random tier two team. Uh, but I, I do think like, and especially in Valorant, uh, there is sometimes like if things just, if we get the momentum and like the ball starts rolling in our favor, then it's just like, Anything can happen, you know? Even if we beat Sentinels, we'll beat them. If we need to, we, we need to be Envy, we'll beat them, man. 100%, I think we can shock the world in that regard for sure. The thing they can really expect from us is probably an unorthodox style to what a lot of people do right now. I've added a structure in that fits everyone's style. I think what to expect is a lot of very entertaining gameplay, but also at the same exact time, getting slowing it down and making it boring for the viewer and just securing rounds you'll see the hard work we put in. You'll see all the server work, all the offline work that we've had, and you'll just, you'll be amazed with how much time and what time does to the team. For the fans, honestly, just thank you guys for supporting us. Thank you for supporting some like random dude from Massachusetts. It's kind of lit that like, I, like, fan, like I'm even saying that like I have fans. Like, I, I mean, that's crazy to me still. It's genuinely like, amazing. Thank you everyone. It's like in my Discord and things like that. Like, thank you so much for the support. And um, thank you so much for supporting your crew in the Twitch chat. Like being able to like scroll through the VODs and like seeing people like, saying like honestly like wonderful things in the Twitch chat like obviously it's gonna be haters but like honestly those are kind of content like sometimes really funny but um just the fans honestly it's like really heartwarming it's like supporting us like it's surreal honestly yeah huge shout out to everybody nsg as well we wouldn't be as big as we are if it wasn't for you guys and your attorneys to be honest shout out to my mom my dad my teammates and yeah just it's amazing uh never give up on your dreams everybody for real